Hi, Mr. Engert here. And in the previous video, we showed you how to set up the basic structure for your HTML site. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the header text elements, um, or he sorry, heading text elements and a paragraph text element. So we have uh, six heading text elements you can use. So first one is an H1 tag. And you notice Notepad++ will automatically close that. If your text editor doesn't automatically close that, you have to type um, the less than and the slash h1 to close it out. Uh, this is the main heading. Okay. After that, you have an h2 tag. This is the second heading. Okay. Then an h3 tag. Third heading, okay. After H3, you guessed it, H4. This is the fourth heading. So these, um, and I'll show you what they look like in a minute. This is the fifth type of heading. And then finally, you're gonna have uh, the sixth heading. So let's save that file. And I have this opened in my browser. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like. Okay. So you'll notice that um, these will, they're naturally styled a little bit. Without any CSS, uh, the H1 heading is the largest, uh, H2 is the second largest, and so forth. Now, um, you're also, and you also notice there's some padding styled in. So there's a little spacing naturally built into this. Okay. Uh, and then also you have a paragraph tag. Uh, this is a paragraph. I should have periods after all of those, but uh, okay. So the, and the paragraph is styled a little bit differently. Now, um, in terms of using these in a document, in uh, when you're doing an article, your, well, there's an article tag, we'll get to that later, but for this video, um, generally the structure will be, uh, you'll have your main heading, then within the main heading, you'll have probably uh, a secondary heading, along with a paragraph, maybe a couple paragraph, First paragraph, you'll have a second paragraph. And then you're going to have uh, then, you know, another maybe secondary heading. Okay. And um, then, you know, another paragraph. Uh, maybe another paragraph after that. Okay, uh, so on and so forth. Um, now you may also, within the secondary heading, you may even have, you know, your third, uh, you know, third level heading. Okay, um, but basically the way way it goes, if you want to think about this, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say this, so we'll just see what it looks like here. So then you'd have your main heading, your secondary heading, maybe a paragraph, maybe a third level heading, another paragraph, secondary uh, heading and some paragraphs, you're usually not going to use the fourth, fifth, and sixth level he heading nowadays, okay? Um, but generally, what you're going to have, the way your article is going to kind of be nested, you'll have an H1, and then nested within the H1, you'll have an H2, and maybe a couple paragraphs. Sorry, I have laundry going in the background. Uh, maybe another H2, okay? Um, you know, maybe within that H2, you have an H3, something like a, a smaller topic within the larger topics, um, you know, so on and so forth. And you don't necessarily have to uh, index these in, um, but just keep in mind that, that that's the kind of structure. So the, 
the H2 is kind of under the H1 and the H3 is under the H2. So like for an article, you want your first heading to have the main topic. The secondary headings will have like secondary topics. And then the third uh, headings will be like something within those secondary topics. Okay, that uh, is going to help you if you're interested in SEO, like breaking up your article that way uh, so that when the robots from like Google come through and, and read your web page, they can kind of have an idea of um, what your article is, is about. So like within the first heading, you want to have a very uh, descriptive thing for whatever SEO topic you're going to be covering in the article. And then in the secondary headings, you have like maybe a little secondary, a more kind of fine point to that. And then so, so on in the third headings and even if you use fourth headings and so on. So I hope this video has given you a little bit of an idea about some of the basic text elements that you'll use in an HTML file. If you have questions, leave comments in the comments below. Um, and if you like this video, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.